ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Amy Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nasasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Sean Eineken Singko is a theater arts student. He likes to sing and to do photography and videography. Paula Daniel Manansala is an 18-year-old electrical engineering student from the Technological University of the Philippines. She likes donuts. Makoy Arcega calls himself a Bicolanong millennial. And Carlo Hapa is an education graduate who is currently an admin at the UP College of Law and is a big fan of One Piece. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's KCHEC panel of experts. Professor Anvil Tiatko, Chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa KCHEC Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can in two minutes and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Let's begin. Sean, what is the title of the English version of the TV drama La Casa de Papel? Um, Money Heist. Teacher, Paula, which actor voiced Mufasa in The Lion King and Darth Vader in Star Wars? James Earl Jones. McCoy, the air that humans inhale consists mostly of what gaseous element? Nitrogen. k -check. Carlo, what does a philatelist collect? Stamps. Sean, in what poem by Edgar Allan Poe does a bird answer nevermore? The Raven. Paula, which Greek physician is known as the father of medicine? Hippocrates. McCoy, which 2003 Stephen Schwartz musical is based on the novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz? Wicked. Kate Carlo, which actor is the father of Hollywood A. Lister and Jelena Jolie? John Voigt. Sean, what capital city gives its name to a big brown envelope? Manila. Paula, who was the Secretary of Education from 2016 to 2022? I don't know, Secretary Hannah Roque. Wrong answer, Leonor Briones. McCoy, which Greek writer from Turkey is known as the father of history? Ah, Herodotus. Check. Carlo, what is the French term for the feeling that you have lived this exact moment before? Deja vu. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan round. Professor Neil, based on our first round, sino sa tingin ninyo ang magiging winner ng ating competition? Well, para sa first round, impress na impress ako kay Makoy. I think kung lalaban siya sa susunod na dalawang rounds, I think siya, siyang mag mananalo ngayong araw. Thank you, Professor Neil. At the end of Kajak Paramihan, we have Makoy leading the competition at 30 points. He is followed by Sean at 10 points. And we have Paula and Carlo who has to work harder. Okay naman yan, di ba? Kasi may challenge pa sa mga next rounds. Kayo, ilang tanong ang nasagot ninyo? At ready na ba kayo? 
sa ating pabilisan round. Next, dito sa K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Before we continue, mag-recap muna tayo. McCoy has 30 points, Sean has 10 points, at si Paula at si Carlo ay hahabol. Meron niyata akong mga katanungan muna sa ating mga contestants. Sean, you mentioned a while ago that you are a photography enthusiast. What's the photography dream of yours? Um, Sumalis exhibits. Paula, you have mentioned that your hobby is learning new things. What have you learned lately? So lately, I've been into crocheting, making dresses, wow. and things. Okay, for our third question, si Prof. Marion ang bitanong kay Makoy. Okay, Makoy, I'm just curious. Ako ay kapampangan na Gen Z. Why do you call yourself a Bicolano millennial? Uh, kasi po parang uh, napagdaanan ko yung lahat ng major changes so far. Like from dial-up to DSL and the broadband. Parang ganun. Feeling ko lang. Carlo, ikaw naman, ano yung One Piece? And why are you such a fan? Uh, Anibay po siya. Uh, so far po yung pinaka uh, may longest episode na anime na alam ko po. Mas maganda po kasi yung kwento. Very good. Thank you, contestants. Now it's time to go into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Contestants, kailangan ninyong mag-strategize. Let's begin! Let's begin with round two. Based on the works of Hugh Lofting, Hollywood actors Rex Harrison and Eddie Murphy played what title character in the movies? The correct answer is Dr. Doolittle. What country produces about 40% of the coffee in the world, the most for any nation including the famous Bourbon Santos? Hola. France. Malay. Correct answer is Brazil. What is the pop popular nickname of national artist Carlos Modesto Francisco? McCoy. Bottom. Okay, check. What two and a half million square kilometers sea separates Europe from Africa? Correct answer is the Mediterranean Sea. One of the deadliest diseases in the world gets its name from the Italian phrase for bad air. What is this disease? The correct answer is malaria. Known as the Cathedral of Football, Wembley Stadium can be found in what city? Carlo. Uh, Vatican City. Sean? Liverpool. Malay. The answer is London. What popular Christmas plant grows as a parasite on another tree, especially an apple tree? McCoy? McCoy, sir. Malay. Answer is mistletoe. Bavarian Nordic manufactures an effective vaccine for which infectious viral disease that had its 2022 outbreak initially in the UK. McCoy. Okay, check. Box office king Daniel Padilla is the son of which actress? McCoy. Okay, check. Which player from Pure Foods was named Most Valuable Player in the PBA in 2006 and 2010? James Young. Okay, check! I need the full name. Who came to power in 2011 as the Supreme Leader of North Korea? 
Sean. Kim Jong Un. Gay Chan. Coming from the Greek word for black, what pigment is responsible for making human hair and skin dark? Makoy. Melanin. Gay Chan. And that's it for round two. That was a very, very exciting round. Tama ba ako, Prof. Anril? Yes, yes. It was very exciting and nakakakaba siya. Um, you know, kahit na uh, medyo hindi pa nakakaangat yung iba, uh, it's still anybody's game. Kasi may pangatlong round pa tayo. Thank you so much, Prof. Anril. Silipin naman natin ngayon ang ranking ng mga contestants natin. Nanguna po sa ating K-Check Challenge ay si Makoy at 100 points. Second place naman po si Sean. And Carlo is third place. Paula, habol! But we still don't know how this story will end until we get to the ultimate pagalingan up next here on K-Check! Welcome back! Tuloy-tuloy na ba si Makoy or makakahabol pa yung iba? We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para madagdagan ang pressure sa ating mga contestants, for this round, sa mga professors sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino nga ba ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants! Let's, let's begin! begin! Let's begin! Prof. Unreal, question number one, please. Okay, makinig kayong mabuti. Baltazar's Florante at Laura is an example of what genre of Philippine literary tradition? Sean. Uh, komedya? Mali. Itong tradition na ito ay um, it consists of 12 syllables quatrains. Ang Philippine passion, ang passion natin ay considered another primary example at ang form na ito ay awit. Prof. Marian, question number two please. Since mahilig tayong kumain, food from the stomach will next go to which part of the small intestines? Ito ay part ng ating digestive system, duodenum. Prof. Neil, question number three, please. What was the last organization established by Jose Rizal before his exile to the Dapitan? Makoy. La Liga Filipina. This organization was formed in 1892 that aimed to unite the Philippine archipelago into one compact and dynamic organization. Question number four, Prof. Unreal. Okay, of the six UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Philippines, which was proclaimed as one of the new seven wonders of nature in 2011? Okay, so it's located in the St. Paul mountain range on the western coast of the island of Palawan, about 80 kilometers north of Puerto Princesa, at ito po ang Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park. Prof. Mario, next question. Albert Einstein was awarded the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of what physical phenomenon? Sean? Uh, the theory of relativity. Mali. Makoy. Brownian motion. This is the emission of electrons 
when electromagnetic radiation such as light hits its material. Electrons emitted as such are called photoelectrons. So this phenomenon is called photoelectric effect. Mm -hmm. Prof. Neil, next question please. Hinilawood, one of the country's oldest epics, belongs to what region in the Philippines? This region is home to speakers of Hiligaynon languages. It comprises the provinces of Iloilo, Capiz, Antique, Aklan, and Negros Occidental. The correct answer is Western Visayas. Prof. Or region Andrew. 6. Next question. Okay. Anong? Ang huling El Bimbo is one of the greatest songs of the band Eraserheads. Who is the Filipina actress referenced in the first stanza of the song? Hola, para luma. She started her movie career in the Philippines when she was only 17 years old. Uh, ang title ng pelikulang ito ay Flores de Mayo and starred in the movie Paraluman, which gave her the screen name Paraluman. Paycheck! Prof. Maria, next question. I have a wonderful question for you. If 5 over x equals 20, what is x? Makoy! x is 4. Mali. If 5 over x is 20, then x equals 5 over 20 or 1 over 4. Prof. Neil? Who led the longest revolt during the Spanish colonial period? This revolt happened in Bohol that lasted for more than five decades. The correct answer is Francisco Dagohe. Prof. Andrew. Okay. Um, ito ay may relasyon sa tanong ni Sir Neil. Um, accused of subversion leading to the first Filipino uprising against the Spaniards, the Gomburza were executed by Garote on 17 Feb 1872. This uprising is historically known as what? Ito ang sinasabing precursor ng Philippine Revolution of 1896 at ito ang 1872 Cavite Mutiny or ang pag-aakla sa Cavite noong 1872. Prof. Marian? Science naman! Uli! At di lang tayo mga Earthling, what is the name of Earth's layer that is below the crust and above the core? Hola. Mantle. Okay, we have ma three main layers, the core, the mantle, and the crust. Mantle, okay, check. Rock meal. Last question. Maria Cristina Falls, a major hydroelectric source, is located in what province in Mindanao? This province is situated in northern Mindanao. It is home to several waterfalls. The correct answer is Lanao del Norte. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Makoy, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 100 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thank you to Carlo, Paula, and Sean for joining. We would also like to thank our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Anvil, and Professor Marian. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!